The leader of the council has accused Coventry City's owners of trying to distract the people of Coventry from the main issue that could see the football club leaving the city once again. In a statement released on Friday evening, Sisu, the London hedge fund which took over the football club in 2007, accused Coventry City Council of hampering its efforts to build a new football stadium on the site of the former Woodlands Academy. They said they had repeatedly asked the council if there were any other suitable sites for a stadium in the city, but none had been suggested and they were, not aware, of any other than the former school site. Coventry City's deal to play at the Rico Arena runs out at the end of the season but CLLR Duggan said it was entirely in Sisu's hands to keep the club in Coventry next season, by dropping the legal action against landlord Wasps. He also told Coventry Live Sisu was aware of the planning process which needed to be followed in order to progress a stadium, and should be aware of any available sites as they had been trying to build a stadium for six years. But those plans, for Highfield Road 2, were never going to see a stadium built in the city boundary. After flashy artists' impressions of the new stadium were released in 2013, Mark Leibovich, a non-executive director at the club, said negotiations on two sites for the stadium were outside of the city. He said, they're going to be very, very near to Coventry. Coventry has a very tight boundary so you can be extremely close to the city, but outside the jurisdiction of Coventry City Council, equally, Sisu has not explicitly stated that it is now looking for a site within the jurisdiction of the authority. But it has confirmed the former site of the Woodlands Academy, within the boundary, is its preferred site and says that the council has not given any indication of the likelihood of the proposal being agreed by the council, suggesting the site is within the council's planning boundary. Sisu Statement Stadium Feasibility Stadium Poll Results Ground Share Rumors The English Football League has previously said CCFC must play at a ground within six miles of Coventry next season if they cannot do a deal to stay on at the Rico Arena. But recently it has asked fans whether they would be happy traveling up to 50 miles to support their team, suggesting there may be some leeway. Bosses from the other clubs in the league will meet on April 25 to decide if Coventry City should be expelled if no suitable stadium has been found. The Sky Blues currently have just two games left at the Rico Arena before they become homeless. Stadium owners Wasps have repeatedly said they will not discuss extending a deal for Coventry City to play there into long-running legal action over the sale of the Rico in 2014 brought by Sisu-related companies, and what council leader said CLLR Duggins told Coventry Live given they have been progressing a new stadium since 2013 before the club left for Northampton, surely they must know every site, but it seems not. That is surprising. They are trying to distract the people of Coventry that they alone need to decide are the legals more important than the club playing in Coventry as we all want. Andrew Walster, director of Street Scene at the Council, has outlined what they need to do in reference to future applications. If the club leaves Coventry it is Sisu and Sisu's decision alone as it was in 2013, what does Sisu need to do to build a stadium? Andrew Walster, director of Street Scene and Regulatory Services at Coventry City Council, previously told Coventry Alive the council had done all it could to inform Sisu of the steps they would need to take to get the stadium plan sorted. He said all major developments, such as a football stadium, would need to be subject to a site selection process in which all suitable sites were considered, not just one. He added, they, Sisu, were informed of this process at the point of mediation, in March 2018, and we have explained it to them. They haven't gone through that process and they haven't shared the site selection process with us. We have asked them to, Mr. Walster added that that process could take a month of two. Three weeks from D-Day Save Our Sky Blues Live Updates Facebook Frame Stadium Master Plan CLLR Duggins also questioned the four master plans for a stadium site in the city which Sisu had said it had submitted to the council in a previous statement. He had previously told Coventry Alive the council could only find two of the plans, and they were limited to just one side of A4 paper each. 
In the statement on Friday, Sisu instead talked about four concept plans they had submitted. CLLR George Duggins added, Why have four master plans become concept plans? Surely they are correcting a previous statement. Why did they claim there were four master plans but now four concept plans? Sisu Stadium, master plans, fill just two A4 pages, council claims what did Sisu say? The statement released on Friday said the company had, repeatedly, asked the council if there were any other suitable sites for a stadium. It added that, none has been suggested, and, we are not aware of any. It went on to say, invariably, a development of this size and nature will have issues to overcome, hence our engagement of professional property and architectural advisors with significant experience in planning, development, and building sports stadiums. Our discussions with the Council since March 2018 have been focused on two key aspects, one, in the Council's capacity as landowner, to understand if the site was available for a long leasehold, and two, in the Council's capacity as planning authority, to work with the Council to create a suitable planning application. The Council has to date provided no indication as to whether it is willing to enter into a long leasehold agreement with us. This is crucial, there is no point progressing a planning application if there is no agreement in place for its sale should planning be permitted. To avert the Council's evident but inexplicable, historic animosity towards CSU and CCFC, our advisors liaised with the Council to advance discussions on agreeing a leasehold agreement for the site, and to provide us with planning expertise and advice for this specific site. The property advisors and architects prepared four separate concept plans, two before the Council launched their consultation on education, restructuring and two more recently integrating education on the site, the latter two having been submitted and discussed at a recent meeting. To prepare these required lots of preparatory work with our consultants. We have attempted to work with the Council in order to integrate their educational aspirations on the site. Indeed several other stadiums have done this successfully, Saracen's new West Stand will include space for Middlesex University, the new Bristol City Stadium includes some purpose-built classrooms, and Brentford Community Stadium's plans include education space. It will not however be possible for us to make any more progress with these proposals unless the Council works with us to achieve the desired outcome. Why is the Council so keen to discredit our proposal, when a stadium development of the kind we have proposed would be economically beneficial to the area, to the community, and would give CCFC a long-term and financially secure playing future in Coventry? Why can a group of high-level officers and elected members manage to meet on less than a day's notice with selected media representatives? Yet it takes months for them to meet with our advisors to review the plans, with the aim of developing a full planning application? Councillor Duggins has refused to even meet with CCFC since December 2018, despite repeated requests to do so, visit our Facebook pages for Coventry and Dunedin or visit our Twitter pages for Coventry and Dunedin watch our videos on YouTube and see our photos on Instagram find old stories in our online archives and search for jobs, motors and property, or place an advert or family notice here.